G'day guys, Samson here. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my best eBay sales that I made during lockdown. Uh, I'm a men's clothing reseller mainly, which is a category that has been hit pretty hard by um, this whole pandemic situation, but I have still been able to get some really interesting sales, so I thought I'd show you guys what has been selling for me. Not just men's clothing, other categories as well, but I will not be showing you all of my sales that I've made while under lockdown, because a lot of what I'm selling right now is uh, less expensive DVDs video games media stuff like that is selling really good for me but I'm not going to show you all of those sales because it would take way too long and uh, I just want to keep this video concise and show you guys some of the best sales that I have got I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you were thinking of getting into reselling and looking for what you can resell right now then this video is definitely for you uh, you might have items like this around the house and they do actually hold some value so let me show you what I have sold okay so I'm now in my eBay store and as you can see here the first items that I did sell were this Sims 2 game plus 10 expansion packs that I sold for $50 plus shipping so the reason why I bought this up is because I showed it in my most recent uh, trip to the fifth trip to the thrift video and you can watch that video on my channel and I said that I could get about $50 for this and I did within about two weeks so definitely look out for these expansions uh, and the base game for The Sims 2 uh, this is a PC game that doesn't have like a registration key that's connected online so you don't need to worry about buying uh, this particular game whether it's been used or not being used you don't need to worry about that as long as it comes with the case and the manual uh, you should be all good Next item I wanted to show you guys was this Fred Perry men's polo shirt. I actually sold this for $60 plus shipping on best offer. Uh, it says I sold it for $87 there, but I, I did sell it for $60 plus shipping. Um, this was a really cool shirt that I found a couple of months ago. It had been sitting for a while, and as you can see guys, it's only a size small, which is not really a desirable size, but uh, this particular shirt from Fred Perry was actually like commemorating some kind of uh, 15th anniversary of this Is You, I believe it's a magazine, I'm not entirely sure, uh, but basically it was commemorating that uh, 15th anniversary of whatever that is. Fred Perry itself is already a brand that I definitely do look out for, especially their polo shirts. Regular Fred Perry goes for, for me between $30, $35, sometimes more, but this one was worth about double that. So definitely look for, look out for Fred Perry when you are sourcing. Uh, the next time that you're going to be able to source, who knows, but uh, when you are sourcing, uh, definitely do look out for Fred Perry. Next up, I did sell this Nike jacket. Not too much to say about this item. It's just a nice, pretty plain Nike jacket. I sold this for $44 plus shipping. And the reason I think this sold so well is because it's got that big Nike logo, Nike logo there. Uh, it did actually have one tiny flaw, which I definitely did... Uh, mention to the buyer it has like a little one centimeter mark obviously you've got to mention the flaws and the items you don't want to be getting a return and this one was received a couple of weeks ago so obviously i didn't get a return and the floor itself i believe it was just right there it's just that little black mark that you guys might be able to see you might not even be able to see it because it is that small but it's still sold for more than $50 in total. So yeah, people still definitely buying jackets right now. So I will be showing you guys a few jackets in this video. Next up, I sold this Ark Survival Evolved PS4 game for $50 uh, with free shipping. I like to do free post or free shipping on um, most of the video game listings I sell because they're quite small and it only costs a couple of dollars to ship them out. This one, I did actually pay to have this tracked um, because it is a more expensive game, but for less expensive games, it's only going to cost a couple of dollars to ship them out as a letter. Uh, so yeah, this is a PS4 game, not too much to say about it, but definitely look out for this one because it is worth $50. It sold within about a week for me. Next up is a really interesting listing, guys. I've had these listed for a fair bit now, maybe a bit over a year. And as you can see, only one is sold. That's not actually true. I did sell another pair, but it was before I had a multi-quantity listing up. So I've sold two out of the 10 pairs that I have. I had. Uh, it's the Sartso women's uh, motorcycle jeans. 
um, really interesting item. I think apparently now if you use the word Kevlar in your listings, you'll get like a, uh, a copyright claim because I believe you're not allowed to sell Kevlar products on eBay or rather you're not allowed to put the word Kevlar in your product title because it's like a copyrighted phrase or something. I'm not too sure, but I would just be careful using that term in your eBay listings. But this listing is quite old and I've never had any problems with it. So I'm going to keep it up. And if they tell me to put it down, take it down, obviously I will. But yeah, these motorcycle jeans, I think I paid around $2 per pair and they are brand new with tags. And I had to sell them, I believe, at a bit of a discount, but I got uh, $48 in total for these jeans. Next up is this vintage Sydney Swans uh, men's shirt from the maybe the uh, late 90s, even the early 90s. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe one of you guys will be able to tell me, like just from that tag. It's definitely before the year 2000s, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, it's like an AFL team uh, vintage t shirt, uh, polo shirt, rather. Um, something to look out for vintage sports memorabilia it has slowed down a little bit or I would say quite a fair bit the amount that that stuff is selling because of this uh, quarantine situation obviously the major sports leagues in Australia have uh, grinded to a halt they've stopped so there's not that much demand for the memorabilia from those teams but as you can see here stuff that is vintage and desirable like this is still selling and I sold this for $28 plus shipping Next up is a pair of Arlen Williams men's jeans that I sold for $40 plus shipping. These are a 36 waist, so a pretty good size. Uh, I'd say about average. It's definitely the bigger the better with jeans and Arlen Williams is no exception. One of my favorite men's clothing brands to sell and we are coming into the colder months in Australia so jeans have still been selling for me. Not too much else to say about these. These are pretty standard Arlen Williams jeans that sold for $40 plus shipping. Next up is this vintage Billabong men's t-shirt. This is definitely from the 90s, I would say. I don't think it was single stitch, but it might have been just after they phased out the uh, single stitch. So it sold for me almost instantly, guys, for $29 plus shipping. Uh, obviously, Billabong as a brand just by itself is not that desirable, but any of this stuff that's vintage with a surf graphic like this, this one says, only a surfer knows... I can't actually read that. I think it's only a surfer knows the way. I'm not entirely sure, but it's got that surfboard graphic on it and it's a size XL, which is a good size. So Billabong shirts that are vintage, uh, other brands like Quicksilver, Rip Curl, I would say it's probably the same. An Australian brand, people are into that stuff. So it's sold for $28, uh, $29 plus shipping. Next up is an interesting brand, a Uniqlo SPRZNY men's shirt here. This is a like collaboration that Uniqlo did with a bunch of different designers and this actually sold internationally guys. So the buyer ended up paying around $50 for it. Uh, this is a really cool looking shirt to me, you know, it's got this kind of weird black and white pattern on it I don't really know how to describe it to be honest other than that, but um yeah, Uniqlo shirts by themselves, definitely I would not recommend picking up unless you're getting them incredibly cheap. But if you see Uniqlo the brand, they actually do a lot of collaborations with either, either other brands or artists like they did in this case. So when you see those unique shirts from them, I definitely do recommend picking them up if you're paying, you know, a few dollars, definitely less than $10 for them. Uh, this one, as you can see, did sell for sell for 26, but I did also make some money on, to, on the international postage. You can see here, I had the shirt up for $37 for quite a while, and what I do is once a shirt has been sitting for three or four months, I generally like to put it on sale, like I did with this shirt, and it sold almost instantly once I did put it on sale. So yeah, it sat for a few months at $37. I bought it down to 26. Maybe I should have maybe not discounted it so much because it did sell within I think a couple of days after I brought it down. Alright, the final item I want to show you guys is actually another jacket. It's this really cool vintage Billabong men's jacket that I sold for $50 plus shipping. Uh, and this basically combines two things that have been selling well for me still, which is vintage clothing and jackets. Uh, and that's probably why it sold for so much. This jacket is actually reversible. And as you can see here in the condition, I said it's a very good condition, but it does have some discoloration on the reverse side. And I'll see if I can find that for you guys here. If you guys can see, it's very faint, but there is actually like a bit of yellowing right there. 
uh, where my cursor is. But despite having that flaw on the reverse side, this jacket did still sell for pretty much the same price I would have sold it for if it didn't have that issue. And this jacket actually sold within about 15 or 20 minutes for me. So I definitely wanted to include it in this video. I paid, I think, $10 for this uh, a couple of months ago. And I only recently got around to listing it, probably because it did have that flaw. Uh, items that have flaws, I usually try and get the flaw out first, but obviously I couldn't with this item. And it sold for the $50 that I listed it for. Okay, guys, so that concludes this video for what sold while I've been under lockdown here in Australia. As I said, it's been the past three or four weeks now, I believe, that we've actually been under those constraints. So I hope you all are staying safe, and thank you very much for watching my video. You can follow me on Instagram, at the Samson TV, where I post all different stuff about reselling and my life, and I also generally post when a, I put a new video out. And again, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in my next video.